Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have a, uh, an older car, it's, a, uh, it's an antique actually, it's a, a 69 Ford Gran Torino and the reason it's here today is we're just going to do a repair on the windshield. As you know when these cars get older it gets increasingly more difficult to get a window for them and if you can keep the original you're always better off with the original window. Uh, this car is pretty much all original so we hopefully are going to be able to repair this without, uh, without having to change the window, if you can even get it. I don't even know if you can. So, well, all right, let me bring you up there. I'm going to show you what it looks like, and then I'm going to show you the procedure of how to go about doing the repair so that it actually looks almost like brand new. And unless you knew the, uh, the actual chip was there, you'd never even know it. So, all right, let me bring you up there. I'm going to show you what it looks like, and uh, let's get started. All right, this is the, uh, the car itself, obviously, and that piece behind it is just a mirror that I put in so you can have an idea what it looks like, but that is the chip in the window. So, uh, all right, let me get my tool set up, and we're going to walk you right through it, and you're going to see it from start to finish how this job comes out. Okay, first thing I'm going to show you is we, we're going to put this piece on the window here. This is actually just a suction cup and you just put a little bit of Windex or any kind of water or whatever on it and you center it over the top of the chip in the window, like that. Right. Next thing we do is we take the, uh, the tool that we're using here, you put a little bit of of lubricant on this seal here. You put a drop of resin or two here. This makes the seal slide in the uh, in the tool without a problem. Just like that. You put this back together like that and tighten it up. Just push it a couple times to get the lubricant and that stuff, the resin flowing through there and, and lubricating everything. You pull it back just a little bit and you lock it in place. We're going to put in here about four or five drops of resin. Okay. We're just going to put this stuff off to the side right now. And we put our seal, our rubber seal that comes with the kit. You put it in the top of the tool just like that. We're going to clean off any kind of stuff on here. And then we just turn this until the resin comes right to the top. And let that loosen this up and let this pull up very slightly until the resin is right to the top. Alright, now let me set up the camera at a different angle here so you can see how this actually goes. Alright, right, that might do see. it right there. Okay, let's see how it goes. All right, then we take our tool and we install it back in here and just screw it in very, very lightly just till it starts to touch the window. You're not going to go too hard because you don't want to break the window. Make sure you get stuck down. I'm going to do this and we'll come back here in just a minute. We're just going to bring it down till it just starts to touch the window. We're going to center it. We're going to center it right over the top of the brake. And you're just going to turn slight pressure on it, not too much, just a little bit. And then we open this valve and we pull this unit up three times. And then we just leave it sit on the window for just a couple of minutes. And what that's basically doing is down in this repaired area right down in here, it's going to suck out the air that's inside there because glass is actually made of three parts. You have glass, plastic, and glass. And what happens is the outside part is fractured right here. This is fractured. Air gets trapped between the plastic and this. So we need to get that air out before we inject the resin into it. So right now this tool is sucking the air out of the window, and I hope you can see that okay, but now we're going to 
let it go down. And we're gonna, we, once we get the air out of the window, now we're gonna let the resin flow in. Usually it takes about, about two minutes, three minutes to get the air out of it. And then once you get the air out of it, you hold the unit here, because if you loosen this thumb knob here, this is gonna slam down and it's gonna blow that window. So you have to hold the, the tool up, loosen this piece right here, and you let that go down very, very easy. And now what it is, by it had a suction on there of like about a couple of inches of vacuum, so it sucked out all the air. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the resin already is flowing into it. And you can see how that, that fracture is actually disappearing. So now we're just going to let that stay on there for a couple of minutes while that resin flows into place. Make sure it fills in all the way. Still has a little bit more to go. So we're going to leave that sit right now. Now, I'm going to leave this and we're going to come back to it in just a couple of minutes. And the reason we're going to do that is because I have ultraviolet lights here and we don't want the resin to dry. So we're just going to put that over the top of it and then we're going to come back in just a minute and uh, we'll take that cover off and we'll finish it off. All right, let's take a peek underneath there just to make sure it looks okay. And like I said, we're not doing the light yet. Okay, I don't know if you can see this too clearly. I hope you can. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Look at that. You can see that that repair, it's totally, totally repaired now. I'll get you a little closer. See in the mirror? You don't even see that fracture any longer. All right, so let's, uh, let's put the ultraviolet light on and continue with our process. Okay, now what you do, you take your curing light and you put it on here, like this. Three minutes on each side. We're going to do three minutes on this side, we're going to do three minutes on this side, three minutes on this side, and then we'll come back and we'll take that assembly off. So uh, don't go nowhere, have yourself a cup of coffee. Hi, welcome to back. I just want to give you the, uh, while, while this window is actually curing at the ultraviolet light, I just want to give you the once around to take a look at this car to see what it looks like. It's not often you see these cars in this kind of condition any longer. So uh, let me just uh, point a couple of things out to you and, uh, and uh, you know, hopefully you enjoy it. Right now the resin is drying on the window up in the front. We got six minutes, so we're going to come back uh, a couple of minutes and we'll see. But in the meantime, let's take a walk around and take a look at this car. All right, as you can see, this car is in actually really, really good condition. Little, little marks here and there, but nothing spectacular. Everything looks pretty straight. The body lines all line up nice. Um, very, very clean car. Um, almost no nicks or scratches or anything. Only got like 30 some odd thousand miles on it. Um, you know, little stuff like this here, which is just normal with the car of this age. But overall, you, you look at that paint job, you're not going to find something like this. For something that's almost 50 years old, you know, you just don't find them. So, uh, all right, we're just letting the, uh, the windshield dry now. We're going to move this to a different location. We're going to switch it over here. For three minutes on this part right here to let that dry right there. We'll come right back. See, the body lines so nice and straight. Look at these mirrors, huh? You don't get mirrors made of, of, of real metal anymore. Now they're all made of plastic. Look at this. It's beauty, isn't it? You don't find them like this anymore. This guy has a real home run with this car. You know, and as you know, most of these cars here, they all used to rot out down in this over here. Nice and clean. Nothing here at all. I think the only thing I saw on here that was any issue was just a piece of molding right on this side over here that's missing and as you can see look at that such insignificant rusting on there is really nothing you don't find the car in this condition anymore so all right let's uh let's get up here and let's continue with this window enough of this bs session we have going on here uh let's rotate that to the third point on the window and uh we're going to continue with this repair and uh you should be here anytime to pick it up so Enough talking, and let's continue with this.
put it on the third leg over here. Let that dry a little bit. Sorry, I had to cut in short before and turn the video off. One of my customers walked in and brought me a coffee, so I stop everything for a cup of coffee. Okay. Now once that resin dries, we just take this and remove this off to the side. And then we can take this, pop this off, just like that. And then we'll just clean off any of that resin that's on the window now. It's not finished yet, so don't think it is. We're just going to clean that a little bit there. And then... We're going to put a little drop of sealer over the top like this. Put this tab over the top. And then we're going to let it dry. Three minutes on that side there. And in three minutes we'll come back and we'll continue. Okay, now after the three minutes is completed, we take this off like that. And then we just lift up that tab, comes right off, and then we scrape the resin, and you can see how hot it gets. Last thing we do is we polish it. We put a drop of polish on here. And of course, we take our mirror off the inside that. Let's wipe that off a little bit. And we'll just clean the window. Bring you in there, I'll show you what it looks like when it's completed. And that is what it looks like when it's finished. You don't really see much of anything. I know it's hard for you to see it because it's moving actually. But that is what the finished repair looks like. All right, that's it. All right, so we saved this guy from having to change the windshield and I'm sure he's going to be a happy camper. All right, we're going to wrap this video up, and uh, that's it. We'll call it, a, uh, call it a day with this one. All right, as always, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, you need to know anything about this repair, let me know. I'll be more than happy to talk to anybody about anything. As always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.